So I'd like to talk for just a minute about the special relationship between grandfathers, fathers, and grandsons, and what my grandfather taught me about these things. You know, no matter what happens in your life and situations you go through, uh, he taught me that he was the grandfather of my success, um, to be proud, but also the grandfather of my struggles. He was a grandfather during the times when I was praising or being praised, and grandfather in the times where I was being cursed or was cursing out of the people. He was the grandfather of all the parts that I don't want anybody else to see. And, and that goes into how grandfathers love their grandsons. He's the grandfather of my laughter, and, and now he's the grandfather of my grief. He was the grandfather that showed me mercy when I didn't need it, and gave me some hard truths every now and then, and was a grandfather of unconditional love. And that reminded me of a, of a different story I heard about a different grandfather relationship, and the grandfather's name was Abraham. Abraham had a, a son of promise named Isaac. Isaac passed that promise down through God to his son Jacob, who was Abraham's grandson. And God made the promise to Abraham through your sons and grandsons, um, the world will be saved. And God, when, when he was meeting with Jacob, um, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a big moment, right? Because Jacob has 12 sons. His, his wife is in labor with the 12th. They're traveling. And God tells Jacob, I'm changing your name. It's now Israel. And that becomes the name of God's people the Israelites. God renames Jacob just before his 12th son is born. His wife dies in childbirth. And they name their 12th son Benjamin. And the Bible says that Jacob buried his wife, but Israel journeyed on. And the Israelite nation was born. And I think about the death of loved ones in that moment, right? How we, we kind of bury a piece of ourselves with the people who we that have journeyed on without us, right? But many years later, many, many years later, God was speaking to Moses at the burning bush in Exodus, and he tells Moses, go get my people out of Egypt. And Moses is like, me? <laughs> and he asks God a question he's very bold about. It. He says, suppose I go to the Israelites, the Israelites, and say to them, the God of your fathers have sent me to you. And they ask, what is his name? What shall I tell them? And God says to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you say to the Israelites. I am Yahweh has sent me to you. That Yahweh word is, is really important because it's a very personal uh, connection and relationship. But the next thing that God says to Moses, we sometimes overlook. Say to the Israelites, the Lord the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac. And you think God would say the God of Israel because you're the Israelites, right? Because that was Jacob's changed side, his good side, right? The new and improved Jacob is now Israel. You would think he says, I'm the God of Israel. That would make so much sense to the Israelites. Why wouldn't he say that I'm the God of the great promise that I delivered and now I'm here to deliver you out of Egypt? But he says to Moses, if you want to know who I am, you need to understand that I'm the God of Jacob, too. I'm not just the God of your success, but also your struggles. I'm the God of your praises. I'm the God in the moment when you're being cursed. I'm that, I am the God, the part of you that you don't want anybody else to see. I'm the God of your laughter. I'm definitely the God of your grief. I am the God of Jacob. I'm the God of your victories. I'm the God of your defeats. The God of mercy, of truth, and unconditional love. The God of Abraham, of Isaac, and Jacob. I'm also the God of Tutsi, Craig, and Jameson, and Carter. And we all want you to know that his name is Yahweh. 
I am. The amazing thing about the word Yahweh in the original text is that it's the same way you write the word breath. And even the, the sound of the word, when you say it, sounds like someone breathing. Yahweh. Yahweh. How amazing that my granddad, some of you know him as Tootsie, some of you know him as Clarence, some of you know him as Dad, some as Granddaddy, some as Great Granddaddy. But the very first thing he cried when he came into this world as a baby was, Yahweh. And the very last thing he said, struggling to breathe when he left this earth, was in recognition of his friend he was meeting. Let everything that has breath, praise the Lord. 